Welcome back to another Mind Test mod review. Today we are looking at the um, Scythes and Sickles mod, which I believe it's just called Sickles, but uh, the title Scythes and Sickles because it adds <gasps> Sickles and Scythes. Uh, so first off, let's look at the available implements. We have a bronze and a steel sickle, and then the, or uh, Scythe rather. I was reading the mod name. Um, I'm just kind of an idiot, but okay. And we also have the sickles here in steel, gold, and bronze. I have a steel of each. And let's start with the scythe. So this works as one might expect. You can harvest crops with it. And you'll see here it harvests not only the node it's on, but the adjacent nodes as well. It does a 3x3 a three three patch of any fully grown nodes. And you'll see here we got four cotton from that, which I had three cotton, so that sounds about right. We got seven wheat. There were six wheat plants, so that sounds about right. I got four wheat seeds and one cotton seed. So that also sounds about right because we used three of the seeds to plant more cotton plants, and we used six of the, um, the wheat seeds to plant more wheat. So as you can see, it uh, works as one might expect. And we can continue on clearing out the rest of this field. And uh, if we try to harvest this plant that is not yet fully grown, it won't harvest it because it only harvests fully grown plants, which is pretty needle. So if I grab some bone meal, which I just happen to have on me because I didn't feel like waiting. Oh no, I didn't feel like waiting for this stuff to grow. So I just cheated a little bit. Um, I guess we'll just let these do their thing now. The sickle, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to grab some more bone meal actually. Wow, uh, not V bones, just normal bones. And we actually don't even want bones, we want bone meal. The, or fertilizer, as it happens to be, there we go. The sickle will not harvest them in the same fashion you can do it like that, but it doesn't replant it for you um, in such fashion as you would just punch it with an empty fist as well. However, what the sickle does do is it lets you scrape moss off of mossy cobble, which is, you know, nice if you're annoyed by your cobble growing moss. Um, full disclosure, I actually placed mossy cobble here because I didn't want to wait for it to all grow moss on it. Um, and you get moss when you scrape those off, which is, you know, cool, because sometimes you just want moss to uh, decorate things with, which we will get to. However, we can also get some other items. So we can scrape um, whatever dirt this is called, and that will give us savanna grass. Yay! And if we do the whatever grass this is called. We also get savanna grass. And if we do the conifurious litter, oh wait, no, this is jungle grass. So this was conifurious litter. This is the savanna. This is the jungle. This gives us jungle grass. The uh, permafrost here will give us blue, or er, blue, yeah, it gives us green moss. Same as that. And the grass will give us grass. There's also some other mosses, but I'm not really sure what they come from. So there is a blue moss, there is a purple moss, and there is a yellow moss. But like I said, I'm not really sure what these ones come from. Uh, let me take a quick peek here. Can be found in four different colors. Okay, sickles allow you to scrape grass and moss from overgrown nodes like dirt with grass, mossy cobble, or permafrost with moss. The resulting moss can then be used as a dye or fertilizer. Well, I don't know what we're getting these from because I can't think of any nodes that have blue moss on them. But as you can see here, you can take six of your 
Oh, maybe you just die them? Is that possible, maybe? Ah, that could be. That could be. Um, but anyway, you can craft nine of the moss into the moss block. You can make the stairs and the slabs. And the moss itself, I think all of it's edible. Yep. You can eat it if you want for a small health bonus. You can also turn the moss into, assuming that you are using the bone meal mod, you can turn the moss into fertilizer by cooking it. And then you can turn dyes out of, I think, all of them. Should be all of them. I already looked at that one. This one yellow and this one green. So you can turn them all into the dyes. And then lastly, uh, it's not what I wanted. I wanted this. You can turn four dandelions into flower petals, which can then be placed in the world, which I should mention moss can as well. Let me find something with a little more contrast. So if you want to put some, some flowers in your lawn, you can do that. Or if you want to decorate with some moss. Do these? It looks like it points the same direction no matter what. Yes, it would appear to. Um, the petals as well. But you can place any of the mosses regardless of which color they are. So you can place them, you know, as such or such. Um, I think you can place them on the sides as well. Yerp. Yerp. Of course, you, you can't do both because there's already a node in that space, as you also couldn't do that. So only one of them can have it, but that's, uh, that's to be expected. The only way around that would be to actually turn the node into a mossy version, which you will see here, even the mossy cobble, which does exist, does not get created when you place the moss on top of it. It just places a, I think it'd be a sign-like node right there. Um, I believe, if we turn to die. Oh, you can also use the moss as a fuel in the furnace. I didn't, did not realize that. <clears throat> and that's all. Uh, Oh, actually, you know what? One last thing to check. Does the bronze one harvest a larger area? Hmm, inquiring minds must needs know. I mean, because if I don't do it, then that means you're all going to have to download the mod just to check that one key detail, which kind of defeats the whole purpose of me doing a mod review if you still have to download the mod just to check it out. Of course, on the flip side... Uh, if I did leave you with a burning question that I didn't answer, which I suppose the only way I could leave you with a burning question is if I didn't answer it, so that was slightly redundant to even say, uh, I'm encouraging more people to download the mod and potentially leave feedback. So it's, uh, oof, mm, ah, should I answer the question or shouldn't I? Well, I will. Let's see what happens. Oh, so the... Bronze does the same, does a three by three, and I assume drop wise we expect to get the same results. And yeah, that's it's probably just more uses out of the bronze, I would expect. So I forgot one little thing, hence the abrupt cut here. Um, the sickle can also be used to harvest the oops, harvest the crops, and if you're careful, there we go you get the harvest without completely resetting the node. However, it doesn't seem to work on the cotton. And obviously if you have a not fully grown plant, it just completely resets it and digs it. And so that was, a, that was a key detail that I missed that uh, somebody would have mentioned in the comments, I'm sure. So. That's why uh, editing Nathan had to jump in and give that quick little bit. So now back to past me. 
And that's, honestly, that's the mod. It adds a couple tools, some moss. Makes farming a whole lot easier. And that's, that's going to do it for this mod review. So if you are interested in it, links are all on my website, as always, which is linked down in the video description. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week for another mod review, and I will see you then.